Hey guys, I am Reborn Matt Seidel. I've been all over the world. I've wrestled for WWE New Japan. I've wrestled in my own backyard, but what I would like you to do is open your hearts, open your minds, and open your third eyes, because it's cookie time. Who is this? <laughs> <laughs> Handsome. Handsome guy. Yeah, so it's for, for me it's sort of um, a lifestyle, it's like li living he like a healthy lifestyle. And um, at my house in Florida, I have weight equipment in my sort of backyard, kind of behind my house. It's outside, and so it's very hot. But in the morning, I wake up and I go out there and I have. I have a shoulder dislocation and I'm doing rehabilitation on my neck from a neck injury. So in the morning I start with just therapy, but it's usually painful, painful therapy. And then after that, then I get some food in me and uh, relax a little for lunch and then do like um, a wrestling training. And I have a wrestling school near, near my house where I teach, teach wrestling. And that keeps me very busy because I have some good students, and so I'm up there about two to three times a week uh, in ring training, and then I wrestle Friday, Saturday, Sunday on, on the weekend. So busy schedule. Yeah, but there's so much travel with wrestling that it's like 
very hard to, to have a schedule. So I always say I do my best every day, but my best varies day to day. Tatonga 那就是你可能礼拜一到四这样子 so I'm happy to teach yoga or wrestling to anyone who's interested. That's what I, those are the things I do right here. Yeah. So that's very happy to teach everyone to do yoga or wrestling. Okay. Okay. Good. That's for you. These are so good. You guys want to try this with honey crisp apple? Everybody. The apple. My favorite. For, for me, it's hard to say all time, but I think number one is Ray Mysterio. Without a doubt. But right now, I have two favorite wrestlers. John Morrison wow. and Ray Phoenix. Oh. Ray Phoenix. And maybe one month ago, John Morrison and Ray Phoenix wrestled. The best match ever. <laughs> the best. <laughs> yeah, it's for impact. So good. Mm. <laughs> 在之前两个人在Impact打了一场非常棒,他看得非常开心。但是他从以前到现在可能最喜欢的还是Rain know, what I like is the bigger challenge, because the first time I wrestled John Morrison was on ECW in like 2008 or 9. Wow. The, the first time we wrestled was 2009, and I think he's, since then, we both have gotten a lot better. And that, that's what I like about it, is that our match today will be nothing like any match we've had before. Because he's, John Morrison is very creative, and, and so am I. So when we're in there, it's never ordinary. It's always extremely different. And, and that's, for me, the most fun is making new art, not doing the same old thing. So I have a lot of hobbies, you know, I, did you say coffee? Yeah, like, um, you know, I like to do some boring stuff like read books and study and um, I live with my girlfriend and we have a five-year-old boy. So a lot of my time is trying to raise him and always doing stuff kind of related to education, more of our hobbies and stuff. It's kind of boring, but I do a lot of research and study a lot of different things, like everything from like Zen, Buddhism, and religions to world history, and I love the news. Like I like to watch current events for international news. Um, training your boys to uh, write something, or do they want to write something with you? Uh, you know, that's not something I, because I have the wrestling school, I think he's, already thinks he's a wrestler. Oh, okay. At age five, you know, he has more ring experience than a lot of people because when I go to train at the school, he can come with me. And so I sort of 
he, it reminds me of uh, Steve Carino, who would bring his son Colby, even when he was eight, nine, ten years old, to Japan and start wrestling there. And so you, you never know. But for me, you know, main, I just want him to focus on studying and learning and maybe become a scientist, something better than a wrestler. Oh <laughs> Philosophy, religion, history, math and science, my interests. <laughs> And <laughs> routine exercises before you sleep. Those are perfect exercises. Um, I would, I typically do those in the morning. I do a lot of my exercises in the first thing to kind of finish it before the day's even begun. I like to, by, by lunchtime, I want to have all my work finished. So from seven or eight in the morning until 12, I work really hard. And then at lunchtime, I kind of, I kind of am relaxed and then that's when I can take my brain to reading or thinking about other things or maybe thinking of ideas for wrestling or a promo what I want to say, you know, that, that kind of stuff because I'm always trying to think of what to say in my next promo. What can I say that's not the same thing I said last week or what can I say to connect with people? So I'm kind of always in a, in a wrestling mindset. Once I finish all that stuff, it's like how can I improve on, on a bigger scale because uh, so but you asked about my nighttime yes thing and so before bed I like to stretch I do these things they're called range of motion workouts where you just really work on increasing you know your slow static stretching so it's not like you fast moving yoga or Tai Chi it's like long three four five minute holds in each stretch and that really calms my nervous system down and lets me relax. And then before I go to bed, I do more like mental exercises. Like I tell my, like I kind of think about the next day, think, kind of visualize it, visualize kind of optimistically, but also within reality, you know, not, not fantasy, but I'm at night I daydream about the next day, kind of going ahead and putting the things in my head that tonight I'm gonna get good sleep, tomorrow when I wake up I'll feel good, and then usually that happens. <laughs> 然後到老闆上呢他基本上做一些他講那個運動那個就是一種運動就是有點像是附件的運動去伸展他的身體這樣可能然後就讓他的身體他會放鬆一點那同時他有一次他有一次想說那明天要做什麼明天要去講什麼
a guy I've looked up to, admired, and tried to be more like. So I'd say he's my favorite. Uh, but I, I love Dragon Gate. But I also had a great time in when I was with New Japan, and teaming with Ricochet is my favorite. But yeah, and so me and Ricochet are from you know, Sema kind of helped both of us when we were in Dragon Gate, and then we were able to take take what we learned there to New Japan and become champions a couple times. So you know, I'm, I'm really proud of all that that I've, that I've done it both in Dragon Gate and New Japan. But I would love to. One of my dreams has always been to become the Open the Dream Gate champion at Dragon Gate. I mean, that's just something when I was there, it was just, I think it's the coolest looking championship belt. And I think it has a lot of honor and prestige. And so that was something that, you know, a goal that I'd like to accomplish someday. Oh, 所以他就是西马照顾他们两位很多了所以基本上他可能比较喜欢那种环境所以他刚刚提到说他很喜欢 <laughs> yeah, very much so. Yeah, I have so many friends there and so many, you know, like my brother wrestled for Dragon Gate. I wrestled for Dra Dragon Gate, is like my family in Japan. Uh, so I and I love Kobe, Osaka area the most. Like I could live, I could move to Kobe tomorrow, but y you never know. It's I'm very busy already. Um, but I sure would like to go back to Japan. But I, I, next year I've got a lot of... I, I end up wrestling Japanese guys in England or other other places. But yeah, I, I'd love to... I've been talking with Impact about trying to bring the Dragon Gate guys there or the Strong Hearts group, Seamus group. And so, you know, for, for me, everywhere is... For me, I don't divide places by the country or this this country or that country because it's all wrestling so it's all one thing to me so it's all, it's all part of the same thing so I don't see the differences I see the similarity <laughs> 然后他也是跟英泰克讲说尽量带一些在跟给人过来或者是西马那个团体那个欧达维斯双号那个那边的人过来那你就说我对他来讲他觉得基本上虽然有的是一体的基本上没有什么分哪个国家怎么样对虽
and and I said I I like to watch it, but for me, I just wanted to do it. Wow. I wanted to be be Rob Van Dam, or I wanted wow. to be Jerry Lynn. I didn't think I would ever get paid to do it or make, do it as a living. For me, it was just for fun. It was something a hobby that I chased, and no one paid me to wrestle for six or seven years. And I just wrestled and learned and trained, but I always went to places where the wrestlers on the show inspired me. And so I kept hanging around and all of a sudden, this is my only job. It's been my only job, but I feel like wrestling picked me <laughs> and I was just lucky enough to go with it and not resist. And my, my personality is very good for wrestling because I'm a little crazy and I like to work hard and I like it when there's a big challenge in front of me. So to become a wrestler seemed like one of the biggest challenges because when I started, I was even smaller and tiny, you know, a skinny little wrestler, but I, I always had the heart for it. Mm. 然後他開始就想說他想要做一些類似的東西他就去學做他在學習的過程當中他發現摔跤I don't like this excited ring. <laughs> the ropes aren't, they don't, they're, they're more, the ropes don't give as much because it's a shorter distance. So the, if you have a longer distance, you can pull the string kind of further back. But if it's tighter, the ropes don't bounce as much. Oh, yeah. So they're really stiff. So if you like crash into them, it's like hitting a wall. It's not fun. Uh, and then the six sided ring. The uh, a four-sided ring has ropes that are at like a 90 degree angle. That's easy for my feet to go like this. Six-sided ring is a wider angle, so my feet are like this. This is not a good position to jump from. You don't jump with your feet like this, you jump with your feet like this. So my first time in the six-sided ring, my first shooting star press, and the timing was just off by a little bit, and I put my knee into the mat, and it still hurts today because of it. So uh, after that, I every day I said to Impact Management, "How about we go back to a regular ring, please?" Just a regular. <laughs> and so now we're back to. And in fact, me and uh, Johnny Impact, we both claim we told Impact change the ring, <laughs> but. We were very polite about it, but we said, change the ring or we leave. Yeah. <笑> 比較好保存比較好保存比較好保存比較好保存比較好保存比較好保存比較好保存比較好保存比較好保存比較好保存比較好保存比較好保存比較好保存比較好保存比較好保存比較好保存比較好保存比較好保存比較好保存比較好保存
Okay, so like I said, my career in Japan was Dragon Gate and New Japan the most. But when I was with WWE, I went and did maybe three tours of Japan. And one time in 2010, it was me versus Rey Mysterio in, uh, I think it was Osaka. And this is the best match I've ever had in my whole life. So that match for me is my favorite. It, it was versus Rey Mysterio for WWE, but in Japan. And it was, I mean, it was the best match I've had. The crowd was so loud. And for me, that was just like a dream come true to be in that match. And then for it to be such a good match. And also like my family came to watch. And so it was just really important and special to me, that match. That would be great, <laughs> but you know that's that's the thing about wrestling is you have to go where the wrestling is and where the show is. And for me, I don't even think about the travel because if you do, it'll just eat your head up. Like if you add up the hours that I am in the air flying, it's a lot, maybe 20, 24 hours to get here. But also the waiting in each airport and it goes on forever. So I don't keep track. I don't even pay attention. How long is the flight? Who cares? The flight goes from when I get on to when I get off. And I just keep myself busy in the meantime. I, honestly, to be on the plane means I get free time to do anything. Privacy, a read a book, look at my phone. Like, I'm so busy every day that when I get to travel, I just get to be like, dee, 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 dee. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 他有帶一本書在包後面他給我看他就是看這些書然後我就想一些事情然後看一下什麼經驗對所以像他這一次他好像花了將近二十個小時 他光飛機就飛了八十個東西再加上本天間在不管接了什麼接了什麼接了什麼接了什麼接了什麼接了什麼接了什麼接了什麼接了什麼接了什麼接了什麼接了什麼接了什麼接了什麼接了什麼接了
I am always thinking, what time is it here today? And then I want to get on this schedule. So I just made sure I had a, I went to Family Mart, got a little something and went right to bed. And today, I'm on Taiwan time, you know. Um, sometimes it requires a, an extra day of rest at the end, but so my tricks for jet lag are drink water and go outside and watch the sun rise or set. Because then your body gets adjusted. The being like seeing the sun go down or come up that really helps your body know where it's supposed to be. And I like to put to physically be outside in the environment and be walking around so that you get at, rather than you're just in a box hotel room. It's hard to get adjusted to where you are unless you go outside and, and feel it a little bit. And so that's. Those are my little jet lag tricks. 他说调时差是蛮蛮有挑战性的事情，像这一次的话是一样。但是他通常不会去想说，呃，我回去的时间是怎么样。反正他只要到了这边，他就是想当地的时间，然后尽量去调试自己的身体，去配合当地的呃工作习惯。他喜欢去看一些日出日落啦，然后因为他说你去看一下看日太阳，你不要整天窝在窝在房间里面。去外面走一走，看一下太阳，然后你会，你身体会自动去调节他的身体机能，配合当地的时间。然后另外一个就是说，他在飞机上，他不喝酒，他只喝水，他只喝水。对，然后又要因为他说在飞机上，你没办法做太多事情去调整你的身体啊。对，我们就是从饮食开始下手，不要喝酒什么的，然后他会影响到他的身体机能。再就是只喝水，然后他也是做身体，然后到当地了解这些习惯。他跟哪个选手打双打都最气的，就是他最喜欢那种选手打双打，动作最漂亮。Yeah, I think two people. My brother Mike, by the way, but he's not very famous. But so Ricochet and Kofi. Ricochet one, and then maybe Kofi number two. Yeah. Yeah, he's actually my older brother. 他哥其实默契是对的，但是不是很有名。嗯，然后如果说比较有名的话，就是。人家帮人拍的。嗯，所以所以说，我们是。对，然后就是，就是说，就是说，就是说，就是说，就是说，就是说，就是说，就是说，就是说，就是说，就是说，就是说，就是说，就是说，就是说，就是说，就是说，就是说，就是说，就是说，就是说，就是说，就是说，就是说，就是说，就是说，就是说，就是说，就是说，就是说，就是说，就是说，就是说，就是说，就是说，就是说，就是说，这是以前是日本的什么？咖喱咖喱。对对对对对。那边还还在打，在在熬夜。嗯，你这蛮有问题，劲爆了。你摔脚跟做这个怎么样？啊？你蛮有问题，是不是有遇到说什么团体之间为了公司的利益，要要他那个权利只有先做我的模拟 ？Yeah. No good without bad. They go together. You know, for as good as everything can be, it can also be just as stressful and bad. And you know, for me, I would say the dark side is the pain. Wrestling is very painful, and it's about being tough. And so we get up and we show up to events when we're still hurt. You know, that's not just me. That's my friends, other wrestlers. You know, if we agree, if I'm like, for example, last year. Uh, I wrestled at Impact. We did five shows in a row to film TV. On the final night, I fell on my shoulder and I dislocated it all the way out of the socket. And the doctor put it back in. Maybe 12 hours later or less, I'm getting on a plane and I'm flying to Israel to go wrestle. So this is just what we do. We don't quit. We just. It's, it might not be the smartest mentality, but it's a wrestler mentality, which is you bite down, and you just keep going forward, keep marching forward. So that's the dark side because for me, when I'm hurting, yeah, I might say I'm, I'm okay. How you doing? Nice to meet you. I feel good today, but really, you're kind of keeping a little secret, and it makes you a little more mean to people. Maybe more mean to your family or. You ask me to wake up. I, no, no, no. You know, you just that's sort of the negative side from that place. So he can get to know the one. I just want to go out. That way, it's a thing you put. A thing you somebody put you. And something between the company and the rest. Is there any that? Like pretty fast. Uh, 
you know, I, I just have been, I've had it very lucky, where my, where I've always had the office or the promotion kind of on my side or looking out for me. More often than not, I felt defended by the the places I work for rather than like me versus the promote versus the company. But I'm always part of a group. We call it the boys, which is the wrestlers first, promotion second. So wherever I go, I'm with my friends and my family. It doesn't matter which banner, which organization we're underneath, because it's always the same wrestlers. We're always doing, working towards the same thing. No matter who's paying us or who's in charge, we always feel like we're the ones in charge. So that's the difference between wrestling and the management. You know, there's a little bit, a little combat, but nothing too bad. <笑>通常有人不会讲 uh, yes, so he came, yeah, about a year ago was his first time to watch it there, but he comes to my school more often than by performance. Yeah, because the wrestling locker rooms, not really places for kids. <laughs> He's innocent. <laughs> Yes, the, 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 the second my, I dislocated my shoulder, I said I want to quit because this pain, I wouldn't want anyone on earth, even my worst enemy, to feel like I felt. You know, and that's, it's very hard because you feel like maybe this pain will never end. But luckily, I've got a good community and it's the community of wrestlers that I don't want to quit. You know, I'll never, I don't see a future where I'm not involved in wrestling. If I, I want to always be the best wrestler, but eventually I won't be. But I want to be a part of whoever are the best wrestlers. I want to be part of that group, whether I'm promoting them or in charge of filming or I'm backstage assisting. I feel like I have lots of skills in wrestling and fighting is just, fighting is just one of them. But my, my, my talents, my gifts in wrestling are everything from the creative booking, you know, every, the I on, like, I look at all of wrestling, not just the, not just one match. So I want to be involved with wrestling forever, but my wrestling, the active part where I'm fighting, that has a, a limited time because they agree. <laughs> Well,他就是因为有他的电邮群朋友了,他们有个很好的一个朋友 there was a while where I thought I would quit wrestling and, and open a business or do something like that, but for me, I don't care about business and I don't care about money. I would rather just be a part of something that I love and figure out the money part later. And that, it seems to work for me. You know, I'm, I'm very, very lucky, but it's, yeah, I would rather chase 
I would rather do what I enjoy and hope that there's money than be more focused on working just to pay, like doing stuff just to pay the bills I don't think is the way to do it because for me, I'm an artist at heart, so I want to be creating things and making things and you know, when you make art, people only pay you what they think it's worth, so some days might get less, some days might get more, but you're always making it. And I, you know, I don't paint, I don't draw, but my, I use the rustling canvas as my place to do the art. And then it's, I leave it and that's kind of, it's for you guys. And so I just want to keep making that until I can't anymore. <laughs> 他的兴趣我也知道我说啊，呃，no，but between, I mean, Ring of Honor, Dragon Gate, and New Japan, there's so much wrestling to watch. But for me, I like you're saying to see it live. I like to watch from for me from backstage. I look through the curtain and I watch every match, whether I'm at PWG or New Japan or here tonight. You, if you look in the back, you might see my little head poking out because to, to watch wrestling on TV, you're one step removed from that magic. Because the magic happens live in your face in this kind of setting where the, the real magic happens. So one of my goals is to figure out how to change the way we film wrestling to bring the emotions home with people so they don't have to be at the show. So you can get so you can translate that live feeling, the electricity, translate that through a camera to people's houses. And I've got a lot of new ideas on how to do that that are, are not being done at all right now. The same way, the same way I saw wrestling and wanted to do it differently, I see how wrestling is presented and want to present it in a new way. uh 就一步之遥可以把這個距離感縮小。No, but, but, but that's, I mean, I, yeah, well, so that's another thing that I've worked with is um, the new technology coming out to present wrestling because it was a big deal when we changed from like regular cameras to HD. That was a big change for wrestling, but really it's a small change. The big changes are coming because of the increasing rate of change in technology. So I've been involved in making the WWE video games for a long time, 
doing the motion capture videos, um, filming the moves so that they can be applied into the game. And I think very soon, our wrestling will be more like a video game. And there will be very close the, the reality and the video game will soon just like kind of come together. Because I've seen the, the new technology for the video games and they have like VR where you, you're the wrestler and they're, it's very intense because you just look out and you just see the person coming across from you and they can build the whole arena. So when we are making the video game stuff, we'll sometimes get to wear the goggles. So when we're making it, we can be in the arena and we can see the setting when I'm just in an empty warehouse. But with the goggles, it's WrestleMania. <laughs> Tapa,你到了一个技术是跟他跟VR有关系的,然后跟他,因为他现在其实还是会帮WE开一些动态捕捉的动作,所以他是想要类似结合这方面的东西,因为他本身没等到一些启发,他觉得说现在的科技跟
oh man, maybe you know, see you later. And then the next time I see him, be like, oh, this guy again. You know, we get get to the heart of it, yeah. and then then you can move on. But in the ring, like, what, um, I, I mean, I've yelled at so many people, but I always feel the only time I feel bad is when I yell at a referee because they really are trying their best. They're trying so hard, and then I just yell at them and pick on them, and they can't do anything about it. And so I think it's unfair, but it's just because. That, those moments when I'm in the ring, I'm just, it's raw and it's just, all my emotions are out there. So if you see me yelling at somebody, I hope they don't take it personally. Yeah. It's just, it, it happens. It it's over. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, there's like, and, and espe especially if it's like, if I'm trying to make something happen and I can't, that's when I get really, really upset and like, it's hard to communicate at that level, and so you just do it physically. You just use that, but yeah. Cool. I'm, I'm nice and I'm nice and relaxed. Yeah. 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 对选手吼我也没有我就想说这个东西是可以很多台湾选手可以学的不要再花如果相对的说他会去喊裁判裁判不会觉得也是很好他想说裁判我不会他注意是不是他说他说你有 Yeah, that makes me more angry This this referee for for impact Yeah, I forget his name but he makes me crazy If he's refereeing my match I go to the boss. Hey, can we change? <laughs> because if if you make a mistake, it's very easy. You make a mistake, you say, "I'm sorry." Next time, I won't make the same mistake. For me, no problem. Yes. But if he says, "Oh, many excuses," and never takes responsibility, oh. then I don't forget. I don't forget that. <laughs> 他不想合作所以因为人出包是很难免的because with wrestling we get everything's going, we have momentum and we're telling a story and if one person's out of place, if the referee is not doing their job, the two wrestlers can't really wrestle if the referee is not doing their job perfectly and being a referee is what we call a thankless job, which means if they do a perfect job, no one even says good job, but if they make one mistake, everyone gets mad. It's a very difficult job in wrestling and I, I couldn't do it. <笑>我摔跤是可能是我應該裁判可能是摔跤行業裡面最難當的角色因為你做得好不會有人稱讚你那你做不好出包人家就會幹掉那但是沒辦法因為他說摔跤比賽就是一個一個一個架構選手裁
Like a dog. Uh, maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe. I don't know. Maybe, maybe one or two. Yeah, especially maybe if we do like pictures at the end, I can do a, show you a, a lockup or something. Yeah, yeah. Chop me and chop me now. Yeah. That's a very popular request. Yeah. I think yeah, it's about time. I think it's about time.